Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coordinator Framework Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 14. Inside this video se session guys, we will discuss about like wildcards in our query builder. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Coordinator Framework Tutorial. In our previous video session guys, we had discussed about several rare conditions in our query builder. So inside this video, we have to understand about like wildcards. So let's first understand what is basically it is. So if I open a new tab, let's say that in our database, we have a table something called TBL users. Inside that, we have some columns. What we have so far inside our database table. So here as we can see that we have a table something called TBL underscore users. Inside this table, we have some columns. Inside these columns, we have a column is something called email. Inside that, we have some email address. So if I copy, go to slide, and let's say that we have emails, and the emails is something online web tutor. If I copy the second email and pasting it here, copy the third email, and I'm going to pasting it here. So let's say that we have thousands of emails of our students. So now we are going to make a condition. By the help of that condition, we are going to select all the data from our database, which basically contains a key, something called gmail.com. Suppose all the students have their email address, something called gmail.com. Let's say that gmail.com at the end, something, let's say that yahoo.in something let's say yopmail dot in and something with the two name of some company so let's say profitic solutions dot com so let's say that these all four names basically attached with any of the email address at the end so now we want to select all those data from our database table which basically contains yahoo.in or let's say gmail.com it means that if we have records something let's say that rahul at the rate let's say that yahoo.in we have email address something here and now we are going to make a condition condition is that select all the emails from our database table which basically contains gmail.com in that condition we will not get the record what we have here because it contains something yahoo.in or let's say that we have also an email address something called locase at the rate let's that gmail.com now we want to fetch all the data from our database table which basically contains the key something called esh now we have two emails which basically contains esh something this is the email address and this is the email address something here as we can see here is we have also esh so how can we make condition so accomplish these tasks coordinator basically provides called like wildcards this is not only for this ci framework this is for all the frameworks or this is for our mysql queries this is the feature as you can say or we can say that this is the feature of mysql so how can we handle these tasks so we have the code writer function is something called this db and we have a method something called like inside this like firstly we have to pass our column name so let's say that we have the columns name something called email if we back to table this is the email address column so firstly we have to pass the column name in the second data we have to pass our matching conditions it means that firstly let's say that we want all the records which basically contains gmail.com so if i copy pasting it here now all the things have been done it means that behind the scene code writer generates the query something called via email something called like and inside single quotes it will put two person symbol and inside this it will put this gmail.com inside here and also attach let's say escape single quotes and this is exclamation sign so here we have where is basically provided by our mysql queries and like is also and these two symbols 
person symbol after and before this keyword is known as like wildcards. So by generating this query behind the scene, it will basically fetch all the data from our table which contains gmail.com at the end. Now like method also contains the third parameter inside this function, what basically it is. As we know that gmail.com is attached at the end of these strings. It means that after gmail.com we have no characters. So we can place this wildcard basically at the end at the before this basically handled by using this third parameter. It means that if we use this parameter so if I open a new tab again let's say that percent gmail.com and the percent it means that we have some characters let's say some some characters after this word something called gmail.com and after putting person symbol here it means that after we have some characters But as we know that after gmail.com there is no characters inside DZ email address. So we are not going to use this person symbol at the end. So how can we control that? So by putting our third parameter inside this function and something called something called we have let's say that before. It means that like method puts this wildcard only at the front. So how can we generate this query behind the scene? So if I copy this query pasting it here after putting before it will generate only the query something called here where email is person symbol and gmail.com and it will pick all the data but let's say that we are going to fetch all the data from our table which basically contains the key called ESH it means that we have some characters before that and also we have some characters after that so how can we actually make this condition so for that we have some parameters instead of this before let's say after let's say that before these are the valid values we can pass instead of this third parameter let's say none and finally we have both both by putting this both condition we can just put these wildcards values something called our person symbol after and before word let's use these conditions to our live code so if i back to table Again, if I copy in this code and let's say that this is Rahul and let's say Rahul at the rate and let's say that Yahoo dot in. If I press go, again if I make copy and let's say that Lokesh and here is something called let's say Lokesh. at the rate let's say gmail.com so if I press go so these are the columns basically we have inserted so we want to fetch all the data which basically contains gmail.com so back to our queries now as we can see if I copy this controller route go here pasting it here and with it will give all the data what basically conditions we have provided in our last video so if I scroll down this is basically the method is called now inside this method we are going to modify our conditions this time we are going to use our like wildcards so if I comment this we are in back here again reload this page it basically gives all the data what we have in our table now back to editor we are going to filter all the data by gmail.com as the keyword so let's say that this DB here we have to use called the like and the firstly we want to compare with this email column and the value we have something called gmail.com so by default it will put our person symbol at before and after the word it means that behind the scene it will put both these symbols before the word called gmail.com but this time we want only at the before position because this word is itself as the end of the word so it's put it here so here we have to put called before so save this file back to browser reload this page now all the data we got basically contains gmail.com at the end as we can see that inside our table also we have an email address something called yahoo.in 
but this time these results only contain gmail.com, gmail.com, gmail.com and finally the gmail.com. So what happens if I put none? It means that it will not put any of the symbol means wildcards after and before the word. So as we know that inside our email column, no actual emails have the value gmail.com. So if I go here, reload this page, now we have an empty array. It means that there is no entry which basically contains only the value something called gmail.com or we have the words attached with that. So let's say that we are going to take all the data from this column which basically contain ESH. It means that before this keyword we have some entries, after this keyword we have some characters. So how can we put all these things back to editor? Let's say that if I copy and paste this row and inside this column we have the key this time called ESH and at this time we have some characters before that and after characters. So at this moment we have to put some both condition. So if I save this file, go here, reload this page. Now as we can see that ESH, it is rakes at gmail.com and locus which basically contains ESH and this is the two data we are getting from our table. Now let's make another condition if I back to table, copy this row and let's say that this time let's say Rahul again and let's say Rahul and finally let's say that we have some dot com this is all let's say that your mail dot com if I go click on go we have one more entry now inside this we have Rahul at the Yahoo dot in and Rahul at the rate your mail dot in so we want to fetch all the data which basically starts with the Rahul keyword so back to our editor copy and paste this line comment this and let's say that email address let's say Rahul and we have this time our entries something let's say Rahul and here we have to put a person symbol after that because itself this is the first word so let's say that it is after so if I save this file go here reload this page now we have two data so basically guys this is the video session about like wildcards if we back to our slide now open a new tab Let's say that we have made some condition, let's say this, db and the like and let's say that here we have something called name and we want to take all the value which basically starts with that and we have put it something after. Again I am copy paste this row and let's say that this time let's say email is something what we have, let's say temp or let's say that instead of this let's say gmail.com and we have to put it something called before. Now what will happen? These two lines basically concatenate by using AND operators. This is basically AND operator. So behind the scene what we have where let's say name like inside the single quotes we have put after it means that Sanjay and this is a person symbol and finally we have something called skip single quotes exclamation sign and all these two lines concatenate using AND operator this time let's say email like inside this we have put as before it means that person symbol right here and also let's say that gmail.com and finally we have to concatenate with this escape parameter something called exclamation sign so the, the concept is that if we write multiple like conditions in our query then it automatically concatenate all these queries by using this AND operator. So how can we get rid of that? We want to put if I copy this line pasting it here we want to make this query something called OR operator means we want to concatenate these two conditions by using this OR operator. So how can we achieve that? This is simply we can put let's say or underscore like. Firstly, the first line which automatically generates this line and or like basically attach your like parameters like query by using this or operator. So this is all about guys about like wildcards in our coordinator query builder series.
So if you have any query inside this video session guys then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.